Hello, everyone. My name is Yanan Tao. I'm a graduate student of Beijing Wuzi University. First of all, I would like to thank the conference organizers for inviting me to speak at this conference. It's a great pleasure to be here. As you can see from my title today, I'm going to talk about rural digital financial inclusion and poverty reduction, asymmetry and performance evaluation. So let's begin. This presentation includes the motivation, prior and concurrent research, asymmetric relationship, empirical analysis, and conclusions. On November 23rd, 2020, 832 counties in China were left to out of poverty. After the eradication of poverty, how can low-income groups develop sustainably, and how to consolidate and expand to the achievements of poverty alleviation? Poverty alleviation depends not only on policy implementation, but also on the support of modern financial technology. Financial inclusion emphasizes the provision of appropriate aid and effective financial services at a fourth coast of people in need of financial services, so that those who cannot enjoy financial services can get more benefits from financial development. During the worst fighting against the COVID-19, digital financial services has become important in providing secure, low-cost, contactless financial instruments to citizens and governments. How effective is digital financial inclusion in reducing poverty? Scholars have analyzed the realization mechanism of poverty reduction for variable aspects. Inborn and Kathleen believe that the establishment of well funding and efficient financial inclusion sector will bring economic growth and poverty reduction. It can enhance the economy and social capacity of individuals for low-income groups, especially women. And more and Julia Smith, the access to internet communications technology, employment, and health insurance play an important role in reducing poverty in Peru. Dong, Chen, and Du believe that digital inclusive finance can use fintech means to establish poverty alleviation information database to break the information barrier in poverty alleviation work. Most studies have found a linear negative correlation between digital financial inclusion and poverty risk. Pak and Mokano took the urban rural income gap as a standard to marry poverty to study the poverty reduction effect of financial inclusion in developing Asian countries. Found that financial inclusion significantly reduced poverty. Gong shows that digital inclusive finance has an obvious inhibiting and slowing effect on rural poverty. Chen found in his research that the development of digital inclusive finance has a positive spatial spillover effect on poverty reduction. There are three main aspects of the asymmetric relationship between rural digital financial inclusion development and poverty reduction. Firstly, information asymmetry between financial demand of target customers and financial resource supply. In recent years, from the view of information dissemination, development of rural credit systems still lies behind. Credit information collected by different financial institutions or third-party service providers are mostly isolated as land of information. Secondly, asymmetry between the depth of digital financial inclusion technology and the financial literacy of the poor. FinTech imposes higher literacy requirements on financial customers. In terms of accept acceptance and application, of digital inclusive finance. Rural customers have such restrictive phenomena as self-exclusion and to exclusion. Thirdly, the art of synchronization between the front and innovation of digital financial inclusion and the financial regulatory environment. In rural areas where the financial environment is undeveloped, the risks are magnified if consumers are exposed to financial products beyond their understanding. It is difficult for rural residents and even regulatory authorities to adapt to the innovative development and corresponding risk of digital inclusive finance. 
The digital financial inclusion index calculated in this paper is a combination of the traditional financial inclusion index and the Peking University digital financial inclusion index. The traditional financial inclusion index uses the data on the supply and demand size of financial services to match the financial inclusion development index of 31 provinces and cities. The penetration and availability of inclusive finance was investigated on the supply side, and the use of inclusive finance was investigated on the demand side. The following describes the construction process of the index system. This paper uses the measurement method proposed by UNDP to calculate the financial inclusion development index. The specific calculation steps are as follows. Firstly, the coefficient of variation method is used to determine the index weight. The specific formula is formula 1, formula 2. Secondly, each index in the system is treated dimensionless. The specific calculation formula is formula 3. Thirdly, Euclidean distance formula is used to measure development index of inclusive finance. The specific calculation formula is formula 4. Finally, entropy weight method is used to combine traditional financial inclusion index with Peking University Digital Financial Inclusion Index. This table shows the variables, data, and sources. Among them, the explained variables was the degree of poverty. The incidence rate of rural poverty is used to indicate the degree of rural poverty. The explanatory variables is the digital financial inclusion index. There are five control variables, which are industrial structure, financial literacy, urbanization rate, the level of opening up, and financial support for agriculture. This table is descriptive statistics of each variable. From the scale diagram in Figure 1, it can be roughly seen that the incidence of rural poverty is negatively correlated with the development level of digital inclusive finance. However, whether it is a core effect needs to be further taxed. In Figure 2, we analyze the histogram of the poor population. According to the histogram, only a few provinces have a large number of poor population and most of the provinces have a poor population between 0 and 400. It shows that we need to shift our poverty alleviation strategy to target poverty alleviation. Considering the uneven distribution of the development level of digital inclusive finance among different regions, the poverty alleviation effect of degree inclusive finance may also have regional differences. So we need to test the model. f test is to test whether to establish a mixed model or an individual effect model. The so F statistic is defined in Formula 5. f test was carried out by EVU software. The result of f test was to reject the new hypothesis. And we should choose the individual effect model. The next step is to use the Hausmann test to test whether to choose the individual rhythm effects model. Next step is to use the Hausmann test to test whether to choose the individual rhythm effects model or the individual fixed effects model. The result of Hausmann test by EVU software rejected the new hypothesis. So finally, our model chose the individual fixed effects model. In terms of model setting, Due to the persistence of poverty behavior, this paper adapts dynamic panel empirical analysis for the poverty reduction effect of inclusive finance. The econometric model is set as formula 6. The empirical test results can be seen from model 6. The explanatory variable of the index coefficient of financial inclusion is straightly negative and passes the significant level of 1%. Digital financial inclusion plays a positive role in poverty reduction. For the control variables, 
the industrial development level coefficient is significantly positive at 1% level. Consistent with the theory, the industrial structure is advanced and the incidence of poverty is low. When the financial literacy coefficient is 1%, it is significantly positive, indicating that the improvement of residents' financial literacy has a positive impact on poverty reduction. And the level at the level of 1%, the urbanization rate coefficient is significantly positive. With the continuous increase of urbanization rate, the proportion of agricultural activities decreased gradually, and the proportion of non agricultural activities increased gradually. The material appearance of inhibits and the way of life of the people have gradually changed. The coefficient of the level of opening up is significantly positive at 1%. And the increasing frequency of international trade will enhance the level of local economic development. The coefficient of financial support for agriculture is significantly positive at 1%, indicating that the physical policy of expanding government expenditure has a positive effect on poverty reduction. To further examine the regional heterogeneity of poverty reduction by additional financial inclusion, according to the regional classification criteria, China is divided into four regions, namely the northeast, eastern, the middle, and the western regions. From the empirical results, regional financial inclusion has regional heterogeneity in poverty reduction. As can be seen from Table 5, the impact coefficient of digital financial inclusion and poverty reduction for regions are all negative. Among them, the difference between eastern region and western region is the largest. The digital financial inclusion coefficient of western region is 8.4 times that of eastern region, while the difference between northeast region and the eastern region is the smallest. The additional financial inclusion coefficient of northern region is 1.9 times that of eastern region. The influence of eastern region is obvious better than that of middle region, which may be due to the relative high level of economic development in eastern region and the certain scale of digital inclusive finance. The findings are as follows. Digital financial inclusion development across the country significantly reduced poverty at the 1% confidence level, confirming the extent of poverty reduction effects. In terms of the control variables, except the level of opening up and the level of financial support for agriculture, the other control variables are significantly beneficial to the alleviation of poverty in the empirical results of regional heterogeneity. There is regional heterogeneity in the poverty reduction effect of digital financial inclusion. Among them, the development of digital inclusive finance in the Northeast, Middle, and Western regions has significantly reduced poverty. But the development of Eastern region has no significantly impact on poverty alleviation. In terms of control variables, the increase of industrial structure is beneficial to poverty alleviation, while the effect of other control variables varies in different regions. Thank you for your attention.